In this lesson, we will see together les indéfinis, but in fact, more precisely, we will see tout le monde. So, of course, the question is, what are les indéfinis? So, let's try to see that together. Indefinite words in French are used to refer to non-specific or unspecified people, things or quantities. So this is the first point. Second point that is extremely important. They often express concepts like quantity, frequency or degree without specifying exact details. And this is a key thing with les, les indéfinis. You don't specify exact details. And the last point, they play a crucial role in constructing sentences that refer to indefinite or unspecified concept. So clearly, if you don't really want to be specific, you will have to know and master les indéfinis. In this lesson, we will see tout le monde and the indefinite tout le monde can be translated to everyone, everybody or all people in English. So we will see four examples with tout le monde. Tout le monde aime les vacances. Tout le monde aime les vacances. Tout le monde devrait prendre soin de la nature. Tout le monde devrait prendre soin de la nature. Tout le monde peut apprendre à danser. Tout le monde peut apprendre à danser. Tout le monde était heureux pendant la fête. Tout le monde était heureux pendant la fête. 